Hello Paul. Hello Earth, Smart Sky, Phoenix. Nice to see you all, everybody. My favorite chess teacher will be here soon. <laughs> She's just searching for Dorotsky's book. You are right. And now we are ready with this book and a lot of end games. So let's begin. How are you all doing today? Headache from sleeping too little. So maybe end games will help you, yes? Takes less time than Hikaru to start the stream. Yeah, generally I like to start within five minutes. Just set up everything and then begin. Okay, so let's continue with our discussion about pawn end games. And uh, yesterday uh, we left abruptly because some, I think Liches was down, there was some problem. So we had to go and end it soon than we wanted. Thank you for the cheer and welcome. Alright, so let's begin. King g8. Black king d2. Pawn b5, c4. Black pawn on b6. White h6 and knight on g4. I just had coffee, so I need to warm up and start thinking about chess. So this is a white to play. This is composition by Elkis in 1986. And they asked the question, when should white play c5? So white has option to play c5 here. Or maybe first to play at seven. The knight f6 check, knight will take the pawn, and then maybe that pawn end game. And this is interesting. Knights are always tricky. C5. Thank you for following. Kefirf. Knight will take the pawn on h6. King moves knight f5. Can knight prevent these pawns? Hello, Sovnir. Welcome. So, two ways to start this endgame h7 and c5. Okay, I will start thinking about h7. It is much simpler. So h7, knight will play f6, king g7, knight h7, king h7. Now, king c3 will be a mistake because then white will play c5 and then the pawn will, the king will stop this pawn. So I guess king d3, king d3, pawn will go to c5, takes b6, c4, b7, c3. Queens, c2, and we have queen f4 stopping the pawn. Queen f4 will stop the pawn. And even though now it is a bishop's pawn, the queen will reach c1. So king c3, queen c1, and white will win this. So what else black has here? After h7, knight f6, this is forced. Uh, king c3 is not possible. Maybe king e3. Maybe king e3 looks interesting. King e3. Now 
The threat is king d4, so white has to play c5. Hello, Daksh, welcome. No, today you're not late, we just started. Few minutes, this is our first position. So c5, b6, b6, c4. And now the difference is that black is controlling this f4 square. So I think this is the idea for black. And now what to do? So fast. This was a straightforward line, so I played the most fast. Now if we stop the pawn with queen b2, king d2 and it will be a draw because the king is too far away and we have the bishop's pawn. Maybe some skewer ideas like that from this diagonal. Maybe queen d6. Queen d6, if queens then queen at 6 But queen d6 there is king e2. Let me think about queen h2. Now black can't play queens because there is queen at 6 check and we get the queen. And if king d3, again queen at 6 and queen c1. This looks like the solution for me. Let's see. Um, when is the right time to break with c5? Right now it would be uh, wrong, they say, because if we start with c5, knight at 6 check, king f8, bc, and does the knight stop it? Or just this go with c4, right? They go c4. And this will be a draw. Even if the white gets the knight, it will be a draw. So this is wrong. The correct move is start with h7. Knight f6, king g7, six, king h7. King e3, good move. Yes, we considered all these king moves. So the best was king e3. We'll promote this. King e3 c5 and the same line that we saw queens queens and in the end queen h2 double exclamation mark thank you for following rithik and now a c1 queen is met by queen h6 and in d3 is met by queen f4 okay same thing with queen h6 and queen c1 Can we keep a poll for the next mod? Our, we have two mods, they will decide the other mod. So I have left up to them to do it. I am from India and want to play with you. We will do special streams for that, Ritik. So right now we are doing training and games. By the way, tonight I was talking... Um, thank you for following. I was talking with my friend Monica from Philippines and maybe tonight we will play with the weavers hand and brain so she uh, suggested me we can do it and if it works out maybe tonight we can do it so do join in tonight for some fun chess you look like Indian of course I'm Indian So next one. But you live in another country. No, I don't live in another country. I live in India. Yeah, Chelsea Monica. I think she is also streaming right now. So we are quite excited to do about uh, this fun chess tonight hand and brain with the weavers i 
I see we have a lot of Indians in the chat. Nice to meet you all. Okay, so here white to play. And what is this position? White to play and I think it has to be draw, white to play and draw. Hello Bobby, welcome. If I remember well, Bobby is from France, right? It looks like white to play and draw for me. It is winning. How do you win this? It looks very difficult to win because black can just go and take this pawn. So it has to be a draw. <laughs> Let me actually calculate. Yes. Thank you, BBC, for a compliment. Stream is freezing for me. I will be back later. I hope no problem from my side. Because that makes me uh, really sad. No lag in the stream. Okay, thank God. The black king will be too far from the corner if he wants the f5 pawn. So, okay. Black will take this pawn directly, so we can't stop it. So, I think that with the logic, I don't know if it's right, but we have to start pushing this pawn on this side. So that even if black plays king d5, we can be ahead this side. And we take that pawn. Okay, I will try it. It's too long variation. I will just try it. And both queens same time. So this is a draw. If black tries to go for the pawn. So a4, black might play a6 or a5. And go for even this pawn. After a4, a6 loses, I think. Okay, let's try. So, black has two moves, a6 and a5. a6, now. Can we go a5? Or we just wait with king b3? Let's say we wait with king b3. Now king d5 again, king b4. So, a5, king c3. And again we go to this pawn. So a4, a6, a5. Even this looks interesting to me. In b5 and we go here. Yeah. So I think after a4 black has to try with a5. King d3, king d5 or king b4. 
king here or king here king d5 this we saw already um will lead to a draw so black will try to go king b4 king d4 And this is i think losing this is losing so king queen a7 check king will move to e8 and king c6 and this will be losing you see queen d7 is checkmate like that so so let's see the analysis This is right first move a4 black plays a5 king d3 king b4 king d4 king capture a4 and they say here is an excellent move for white and only one move that makes a draw and that is king c4 king c4 so that we stop king from going to b5 king goes to c3 and then we do the same idea so this is the big difference in this position we have to stop king b5 which is losing queen and game queen versus pawn and game and now we play king d5 and the same idea but the king stands on b4 this time not b4 sorry b4 will be check or maybe b4 yes okay b4 king f6 a3 king e7 a2 f6 queens f7 and they say that this pawn and game is uh, draw because the king is far away from the checkmate and now even if check king e8 and we have a bishop spawn and there is no way for black to win this king b5 then queen and this is a draw so the best move the key move in this position was to play king c4 here instead of king d5 to play king c4 and followed by king d5 Hello, hello, welcome. Th this position looks so simple, but they have so strong ideas. Now the position which we left yesterday. Let's check that. Clear board. White king d3. Black king a4 pawns f2 and pawn b6 yeah amazing move right so remember yesterday this was our last position that we were looking at this is a composition by grigoriv in 1928 And this is white to play and win. King c3 forcing, king h6 then promote with check. Yeah, so the idea is that we have to force black king to go to a3 somehow and then our queen will check first. But how to do it? Because if we start with f4, black can just go and catch the pawn like that directly. Yeah, king d4 first. Uh, now, if king b5, black has two ways to just start pushing the pawn or play king b5. So let's try king b5. Then king d5, right? To stop this king from this side and then we just push start pushing the pawn. And here king c4 b3 and this move we force king to go to a3. No, something is wrong. <laughs> something is wrong. Something is really wrong. Okay, after king b5, let me think.
Yeah, King C3 not needed. You are right, Amai. You are right. So in this variation, King C3 is not needed. We can just play. But how is it not needed? Black to Queens first. So we are missing something here. After King B5. I think f4 now, f4, in c6, in e5, is this too much, maybe, thank you for the following, yeah this is too much, ninja, e-gamer, no that is too slow, Has to be king d5. Has to be king d5. King d5, king a4. Now f4, b5. Is there a skewer traffic? If queen a8, king will go to b3. And then defense king c2. Yeah, we are missing something here. Okay, but uh, before we check king b5, I just wanted to see b5, pawn to b5. And this was the idea that we were talking about. We move the king to a3, but still not. Yeah, this was the idea we were talking about and if king a4 we have queen a8 and this keyword so this works if black starts playing b5 but what about king b5 okay king d5 king a4 f4 this how about king d4 going back you should make a lesson series Yes, that's what we are doing. We started with endgame series. Yes, king d4 now. King d4, b4, f5, b3. And yes, we have reached this. So, this looks like it. King a2 will be met by queen a8. And king a4 also met by queen a8. So let's check the analysis. Black's king is in the square of the f-pawn. So if white plays first move f4, it's a big mistake because black plays king b5 and this leads to a draw. So white has to block the king's path and he must play king d4. Keep calm and play chess. Yes, you are right. b5. And they say that the other defensive plan gets instructively refuted. If they play king b5, king d5. And they have given an interesting line, king a6. f4, king b7. The king trying to go from that side. King c7. King e6, king d8. King f7, b5. And we queen with a check. So this was the other line and the main line is what we saw in d4, b5, f4, b4 and in the end we make a fit queen with a check and white wins. So now there is a tragic comedy. Thank you for following Batch. So there is a tragic comedy based on this idea. So in this book Dovretsky's Endgame. There is a section called tragic comedies. It is like tragedy but comedy, but these positions are quite instructive. Thank you for following. Railbird. King a5. Pawn b3. Black king b6. And black pawn f7. At 
at what level do end games matter most? I would say that everybody should learn end games from beginners to uh, masters. It really helps to improve the game and understanding of chess. How did you start streaming? How or when? When did I start streaming? The answer is like 15-20 days ago. I can't even make it to the end game. But it's not about uh, studying particular positions, it's about um, improving the understanding of the game. So when we know the ideas, uh, it helps us improve our overall game, not just the end games. So this is a game between Jubojevic and Brown, played in 1972. And this is similar to the position we just saw. And in this game, black could have won with king d5, they say. King d5. With the similar idea, because now this pawn will queen, so they have to play king d5, b4, f5, b6, king c6, b4, king a6, f3, and so on. Let me make it black to play. Come on, Lee Chess. Hello, Akshay. Welcome. So, the correct move was King D5. And this is a winning, as we just saw. King A here. Wins. So, the exact same position with color reversed and black wins. But in the game, black played first move F5, which is a blunder. And after King B4, draw was agreed. White king e5, pawn g6, black king b1, knight b4, pawn b2. Why is it a comedy? <laughs> it's just a section about tragic comedies. Black to play. Will there be an opening series? We can do that too. So the board is flipped, the pawn is going here, white pawn goes here. Could you post a link to the studies? Uh, there is no link, it's from this book, Dobritsky's book. Night Guard Chess Channel, hello, how are you doing? Please teach us openings where we can sacrifice our pieces. We can start an opening series. We can do that too. Could you join my Lee Chess team? Uh, send me the link on leeches. I will look at it. So if we just straightforward make the queen, let's say, it will be a draw. Theoretically, it's a draw. Queen knight versus the queen. Even though black can try. I think this is simple. This looks simple for me. Now what we do is we just need to uh, push the king on this diagonal so that it will be skewer. So how about we start with knight d5. Now king d5 we just make a queen and then give a skewer like that. Otherwise if white plays g7. 
we can stop this and now we make a queen and we know that a knight spawn is winning for us you already saw this yesterday we just use this pattern uh, this checks okay it's it's a long pattern but we just use this checks and every time the king goes in front of the pawn we have to improve our king position okay we saw this we saw this yesterday yeah it is like a staircase king um here then check and slowly we bring our king closer and then next we win the spawn like that yeah this is easy knight d5 and just wins for black You're coaching for free, yes. It's like training together. So, we do it. Okay. Now, next one. Thank you for following. Harun. White king b4. Black king g4. Pawns on a2, b3. Black pawns, a6 at 6 and white pawn h5 hello tarun welcome we are doing an endgame series white to play and win this looks like a pawn race a pawn should promote so the logic is that if we promote a pawn instead of b it can stop this queening square so something like that for following Frederica welcome a4 king c5 b4 b5 that looks very interesting a4 move the king away and then b4 b5 thank you Akshay Kul for hosting you're very kind so that looks like an answer to me but first of all before we check that let's see why this does not work What's wrong with just simple king a5 and take the pawn? So black takes it. And both queen at the same time. As you see, both queen same time. And uh, this is a draw, they say. Even though white will keep trying with the extra pawn, uh, this will become a draw. So, how about a4, king h5, king c5, king g4, b5, h5, 
And now instead of taking on b5, we play a5. Yes, this is very nice solution. This is very nice solution. Are you from Tamil Nadu? No, I'm from Maharashtra. Is it not possible to force queen trade and promote a pawn? So how about this b5 and we don't take this pawn and then we promote the a pawn. Looks like that. The winning idea is first move king c5. So the same idea but they start with king c5 first move. b4, king g4, a4, h5 b5 a b and a5 so this is what we just saw when the white pawn queens while preventing the black one from doing so but is it the same if we start with a4 let me check if we start with a4 let's put on this machine yeah this is the same just difference in move orders but does not change the result so well done King c5 if they play a5. Let's check. Now b4, right? Just b4. And if you take, we take again. And the a pawn will reach a8. If we play a4, then just b5. King g4, pawn h3, black king a5, pawn a6, knight f3, black to play. So this pawn goes here, black pawn goes here. By the way, don't send, send me game challenges right now, I'm not playing. Thank you for the follow, Timmy Dress. Welcome. This looks quite tricky. The knight will jump all over the board. Would you try a simple game I made about chess? You have to guess if boards are equal or different. You can send me link on leeches, I will check it out after the stream. Are you already a coach or planning to become one? I coach few students but not full time. I'm just waiting to play more tournaments so that I can complete my woman grandmaster title. I just need one more gnome. King b4. Yeah, what is wrong with king b4?
So king b4, if black plays, we take the knight a5. King can run. Is WGM a prerequisite to IM or you can go straight to IM? If I perform and make IM norms, I can directly go to IM. Looks winning for me, but what about king e2? And king b2, right? King b2. And this is winning. So, what is wrong with just start pushing the pawns? In that case, just go for GM norms. It's not winning. Oh, right. You are right. Wow, this is such a nice idea. We push the king to b2 so that it blocks the queen. And then we play this. Oh, wow. Well done, Codex. You are absolutely right. So we just need to push the king to block this diagonal and then we start pushing the pawn so that when the black queens they can't control h8 so that is the main idea of this position hmm. codex you're a strong player What about we play knight h4? I want to play knight h4 first move. Look at this. Thank you for following. There. And just we just move the king and then make a queen. Does this work? Yeah, this works. This works. So we just be very rude and play knight h4. One twenty three. One's first impression might be that black wins in every way, but this is not the case. Only, only the pretty move knight h four double exclamation mark is winning for black. If black plays first move king b four. King f3 and if black plays king b4, king f3, a5, white plays king e3, king b3, king d2, either coming with the king to c1 or forcing the black king to occupy the b2 square and interfering with the a1, h8 diagonal. So this we saw, this we saw. And if black plays first move knight e5 check, king f5. If knight f3 again go back and here if they play king b4 so that we promote with a check this also does not win because white does not take the knight and plays h4 thank you for following watching home white plays h4 a5 and h5 so white just does not touch the knight and just start pushing the pawn and all lines lead to a drawn end game of queen versus rook pawn. For example, if black plays here knight f7, king g6, and no way to take this pawn if they go here knight f6, king takes a4 and king g7, and the pawn reaches the 7th rank, and we know that the rook's pawn will be a draw. Yeah, knight h4, double exclamation mark. Does the staircase with the queen does not work in this case? Um, one moment. It does not work with the uh, rooks and the bishop spawn, like we saw yesterday, because if we queen... Thank you.
you for following Cosmo and we start giving the checks like we did before okay I will play it quickly all the way the difference in is in this is that when we give this last check white goes to the corner king h8 and there is still mid so we can't make improvement with this king so every time we give check white goes in the corner and there is no way to make an improvement and same with the bishop bishop spawn let's say white has this pawn instead of h7 on f7 still every time black gives this check king goes here and black cannot take the pawn because again it's a stalemate <laughs> learn to new things today can sleep well tonight i'm happy for you yeah yesterday we had a long discussion about this uh, pawns and queens King f5, pawn on g5 and h5, king h8, black pawns on b4, c4. White to play and win. Unfortunately, this is my first time here, so I missed the good stuff. Don't worry about it. This is just our third uh, third stream on this series, so there is a lot of things ahead. And you can always go back on the profile and check the last video. Thank you for following, Ven. This looks quite interesting. Let's start thinking about this. What was the problem in yesterday's stream when leeches went down? I don't know what happened actually because my internet was working perfectly but there was some conflict with leeches so I had to stop. Just these technical things are out of our control. We have to start with either king g6 or king f6, bring king to f7 and then push the spawn somehow. If we first play g6, he will play b3, h6, b2, check here and king g6 does not work because b1 is check with the new queen hello Risha, welcome welcome everybody and those who are joining right now we are doing an end game series starting with pawn end games Now what is difference between king f6 and king g6? Maybe must be king g8. Double promote. Yeah, you don't have to call me ma'am. You can call me Rucha. The opening series also, your teaching will help. Okay, Rishabh. I will keep that in mind. Then c1 queen, queen g6 is made. Yeah, so first we know that we have to start with this move and then bring king to f4. Hi 
Thank you for following, Karthik. But what is the difference between these two moves? Why did Badur close his account on leeches? I don't know what happened. Blocking the promotion of a G pawn. Thank you for following Jean Louis. King g6 end of variation at 7 and king cannot go to h8 because king h6 and mate follows with g7. But which pawn black will move first? That also is a... You have to calculate both the pawns. These both queening squares. <laughs> we have... We have... Two different opinions king g6 and king f6 but one is right and one is wrong of course black's best defense must be king g8 after that fight to play okay let's try let's try first move king f6 now black will play king g8 and now if what to do g6 or h6 h6 probably and this does not look that this is not one zero of course So that is why maybe a uh, king here. How about we play king e4, capture the pawns and then promote. If you go for the pawns, king e4, black will play b3. And white is not in time to stop the pawns. So let's try king g6, king g8, f6. But it promotes with a check, c3. And okay, now king f7, right? Now king f7. b3, h7, king h8. And now we can play king h6. The difference here is that there is checkmate. Okay, let's see the analysis. Let's see the analysis for this. So the analysis says first move king f6 is a mistake and will lead to a draw because black plays king g8, g6, b3, h6, b2, h7 check, king h8, yeah this we saw and black defends this square that is why king f6 is wrong and only leads to a draw. The correct move is first move king g6, king g8, at 6 b3, at 7 king h8 and now king at 6 so b3 is just mate and if black plays c3 h7 king h8 and king f7 and now there is checkmate on g6 that's the difference and this yeah with end games we have to be precise one move can just completely change the result
next one white king e7 pawn on h2 black king a2 pawns on h7 and g7 what if king g6 b3 h6 b2 h7 b1 queen check now for king g6 b3 uh, we play h7 is a check so black can't play queen b1 queen right so karthik if king g6 or oh, directly you mean king b3 instead of king g8 no uh, white will play king f7 followed by g6 g7 g8 okay one minute let me just uh, think what karthik is saying so karthik was saying king g6 and just directly pawn push then we play king f7 g6 okay one minute let me go back to that position one moment let's clear that out the position was king f5 pawns here black king on h8 and pawns on b4 c4 so this was the position and as suggested after king g6 if b3 white will play king f7 b2 g6 b1 queen g7 king h7 this queens and i think now queen g6 takes takes c3 it queens at the same time just a moment hmm interesting okay it's just made it's just made sorry it's just made i just missed this queen g6 yeah but thank you for bringing us to this uh, this variation yeah it is winning but this was also a very nice line so it's good that we went back and checked it <laughs> okay so let's go back to the next one we were looking at king e7 king a2 pawns h2 and pawns on h7 g7 with white to play yeah this book is very strong book very complicated position and sometimes they just say in analysis that it's winning but we need to check it because uh, what is simple in this book uh, it's not so simple actually Yeah, nothing is simple about end games, but it's good to see pawn end games because um, statistically, in practical games, the most common end games are uh, by the order. First is rook end games, so the most common are rook end games, and pawn end games are on the second place. So very common that we see pawn end games, and all the other end games have the possibility to be transposed into pawn end games. So this is the basic where we start. Because even after that, we start um, training about other end games. Let's say bishop end games, knight end games. Many lines they will just convert to pawn end games, and we need to know what is the evaluation of those positions. The stream is lagging. I think just give it few seconds. It will be okay. It will be okay in just few seconds. Yeah, you are right. Endgames are very difficult. But we can't go to other endgames before we study pawn endgames. So it's like the basics and then we 
us we can understand other endgames Rishabh, I hope everything is okay now. Just confirm me. Okay, if it lags, just it just give a few seconds, like 10-15 seconds, it will be okay. So now what is happening here? What is the evaluation of this position? Is it white to play or win or white to play or draw? Thank you for following. Jack Power Chess, welcome. Thank you, Piyush. Welcome. It's a draw or it's a win? They have asked the question like this. Just they have said it is fight to play. H4. So how about we start with H4, right? H4 or King F7. These are the two ways to begin. Now this position has a long analysis actually let's see this is a composition by Grigoriev in 1931 thank you for the follow Alex let's see the analysis they say first move h4 is correct and say it is a good move thank you for follow Pavel. And they say King F7 is a mistake. So let's see why King F7 is a mistake. Thank you, Najmi. So if King F7, they say it misses the win because Black plays G5. So White is trying to win this position. King G7, King B3, takes King C4, King G6, and now G4, King G. 5 king d5 and black king reaches the corner and we know that if black king reaches the corner with the rook spawn it is a uh, draw so if we start with king f7 with this line it's going to be a draw that is why h4 is necessary and now black plays h5 good move And this is a very tricky move. WIM impressive. Thank you, Najmi. Now this is a very tricky move. Because black wants to play g5. And now here is the big difference. Here is the big difference. If we play here king f7. Black plays g5, takes, and you see that both the sides queen at the same time. That is why our king should not be placed on f7 so that we give a check. So here, instead of king f7, white has to play king f8. And now if g5, we promote with the check. So black plays g6. Thank you for following super and again if king f7 it is a draw because of g5 king g7 also because now it will um, be in the way of the spawn 
The only correct move is king e7. Double exclamation mark. And this is how white wins. The only way to attack the g pawn without fearing g5. So the idea of this position was that the king should not block this and go in these dark squares like that so that black does not play g5. Quite instructive. Why not king g7? King g7 then black plays g5 and then hg5 and there uh, blocks the path of the g-pawn. King g6. Pawn a2. Black king f3. Pawn on c7. Hello Thanos Chess, welcome. And what is this position? White to play and win, I think. This is also a composition by Grigoriev in 1932. Yes, White is playing for win. F5 to block the king, right? Yeah, if we start with a4, black just plays king e4 and it is in the square of this pawn. Black reaches just in time to stop it. So we have to start with king f5. King f5 making black play black play c6 and then a4 so first um, let's say king e3 again with the idea of playing king d4 king e5 black has to play c6 and now a4 in d3 again the idea is to play king c4 a5 c5 so what is this end game we have reached this end game thank you for the follow i'm more hated it's a win the king is on the wrong side yeah so we need to find a win in this position because like we saw yesterday, the king has to be on this side when we have a bishop spawn. Yeah, we are right till four. We have a ring by Kelsey Monica. Thank you so much and welcome Raiders. Monica, how are you doing? I was just telling everybody that we will be um, collaborating tonight and playing hand and brain with the viewers and I'm very excited about it. 
everybody do follow my good friend from Indonesia okay take rest and have a good day and I hope to see you tonight let's do it tonight Uh, right now it is 5.45 in the evening. I think we have a difference of one and a half hours, right? Yes, 5.45. So I think we have difference of one and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. So I will try to join early as possible tonight and make sure it's not very late for you. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> okay, so he until here we are right. We have reached this position. And now white plays queen d5. King e3. Thank you for the follow, Brian. Have a good stream and see you soon. Yes, Monica. Let's do it tonight. And take some rest after a long stream. And again, thank you for the raid. King e3. They have also given a variation for king c3. So if king c3, queen d4, king b3, and queen a1 is just winning because we control this square. That is why after queen d5, black plays king e3. Queen g2. Also the same if black had played king on e2, I guess. And c1 queen, queen g5. One moment, what if black played king e2 here? Yeah, I think we give check. We give check. And the similar idea we use. And the king will be quite near. But king b2. Wait, I'm missing something here. King e2 then. Queen b5 check. Here it shows 0, 0.00. What is this? Why black will play king e3, right? Oh, they have given king e2, queen a2. Yes, codex, queen a2. And see how the engine changed instantly. King d1 and king d4, followed by king d3. You are right. So this is how we do it. We just not let it go on the corner. Because if we let the king go to the corner, then it will be a draw. <laughs> but look at this engine, how it's behaving. It just shows 0 0.00. And when I play queen a2, it's like, okay, it's winning. <laughs> Sometimes it's not helpful to use the engines in the end games. And stronger than the engine. Thank you for following. It's Anit. And welcome. White King C6. Pawn C2. If Black King D1, White plays King D4. And then C1 Queen, King D3. And there is checkmate. King f2, black pawns on d6, e5. And 
and white to play. So what is happening here? We have to try to find a draw with bishop 1, yes. So if we play the straightforward move king d6 Black will play e4. And then black plays queen e8 and goes to c8. That is why we can't do that. Um, Karthik says king d5, king f3, d4, e4, and now king d6 e3 c5 e2 6 thank you for the donation james blunder and welcome e2 c6 e1 queen c7 and king to corner will draw but black will play queen e8 again here and then how to make a draw so instead of c7 we play here king d7 But are you sure because now the pawn is on c6 so king can have the tempo to go and I'm not sure about this yes okay let's try to think before I think it was right Was it a draw? Maybe I, I may be wrong. And black has no further check. Alright, let's see. Maybe it is right. Let's see. This is a composition by Moravec in 1950. This exercise will be easy if one recollects the study by Timon. Okay, the previous position. Yeah, King D5 they say is a double exclamation mark. King F3. King D6, E4. Okay. Um... King d7 and they say this is a draw wow you are right queen d1 check king c8 and the king goes to corner and next move c7 is a draw but what was the difference if we directly take on d6 let me try to understand what was the difference They say the difference was that queen d1, if king c8, queen g4 is the difference here. Yeah, they say this is the difference to stop queen g4 check. <laughs> this was difficult. But well done.
<laughs> yes. All right, next one. Have a nice stream. Thank you for joining. So, next one is uh, King D2, Black King B4. Thank you for following Alekheim number one. Looks like you are a big fan of Alexander Alekheim. Thank you. I can't read. To, um, I'm sorry if I pronounce your names wrong. King d2, f4, pawn h4, king b4, d5, c4. Thank you, James Plunder, again for your support. Appreciate it. And wish you good luck for your tournament today. Thank you, Kerem. All right, so King D2, F4, H4, King B4, D5, G4. And this is a white to play. This looks quite interesting. Both of the sides have two pawns. You know James Blunder is Jobaba, of course I know. We have even streamed together. And Peter, welcome. Peter123456, welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you, Flame, Flame Pit. Okay, so first of all, this pawn promotes with a check. So which pawn to start pushing? But it is also in the square of the king. King e2 or king d1 first move but black will then play g3 or d4 <laughs> this looks quite tricky Okay, I have an interesting uh, variation, but I don't know if this works. This, uh, let me try, let me try it out. 
f5 now of course i am planning to play f8 black has to play king c5 h5 now g3 we have to stop it king e2 d4 f6 again f7 is the threat king d6 h6 g2 king f2 d3 f7 king e7 h7 d2 f8 king f8 and h8 check is this what is this <laughs> this looks an interesting line i don't know if it works all right one moment if f5 then g3 then again we play king e2 yeah king e2 then d4 d4 then we have f6 and then this pawn is unstoppable g2 king f2 d3 f7 d2 and again f8 is a check i want to challenge you okay mahmoud but not today we will have separate streams for that if d4 here then just f6 and g2 king f2 d3 and we promote with a check that is why black has to play king c5 so let's say g3 king e2 king c5 now h5 i'm thinking king f3 king f3 right yeah that is why i think g3 is a bit hasty black has to play king c5 here h5 then maybe d4 okay wait let me check let me check let me check the analysis this is composition by kacha turov in 1947 yeah f5 is the first move in c5 h5 g3 and here we made a mistake actually the correct move was to play king e1 so that black does not get to give this check the so king e1 is the right move this is essential for postponing an eventual check from the d pawn till as late as possible so e4 f6 could move thank you for following nicola in d6 h6 the same idea but with king on e1 g2 king f2 d3 thank you for subscription nicola and welcome appreciate your support thank you for follow 3d grease Okay, so where was I? A D3? Thank you for the cheer, Nicola. You are very kind. F7, King E7. At 7 G1, Queen check. And this is how white wins. Wow, this was very nice puzzle with this check. Yeah, my idea was correct, but uh, the the move was king e1, not king e2, because king e2 black will play d4, and when I try to play this idea, d3 comes with a check, and we can't win there. All right, next one.
so the next is the king routes in this section we shall examine different types of king maneuvers the first is called as zigzag let's see king c2 black king a2 white pawn g3 and black pawn on b6 Okay, let me read what they have said here about zigzag. The laws of geometry as we have known them since grade school have no relevance on the chessboard. There a straight line is not the shortest distance between two points. If the king follows a broken line path, it is by means it is by no means longer. This phenomena is exploited both in a ratey idea we have already examined and we shall learn later on. Here we shall speak of a technique closely connected with the simultaneous advance of pawns we just studied. To be more exact, we shall be speaking of two techniques. And uh, first we call it as zigzag. So this is a composition by Grigoriev in 1928. Try counting the moves for one side and another side. It's when switching after each move that people usually get confused. They either lose the position or forget whose move it is. Okay, I'm sorry if I just keep changing. I just get too excited sometimes to check all the lines. But I will try to keep it as clean as I can, the variations. But yeah, in games it's very difficult to keep going with one line because in middle games we can do that, that we go in one line but end games we have to consider all the moves and keep shifting and it's a bit chaotic. So here the square is with check but when the pawn will reach b3 then it will be checked to us. Not for me, I was giving advice to... Okay, okay. Thank you for following Yalmod. And again, sorry if I miss any messages in the chat. Sometimes I'm just too much into the position. Okay, I am now thinking first move king c3 to stop this pawn. King a3 has to be played. King c4 again stopping this pawn. And now we push g4. And now to get avoid all these checks, I will play king d3, b4, g5, mm, b3, g6. Okay, not 
this black has to play king a3 king a3 and here we give a check like that looks like a solution for me so the idea is that we make this zigzag route so first we go here then come back like that and again bring back the king on a2 but this time without check so the direct move g4 leads only to a draw so they have given this line g4 uh, b5 g6 b3 check and c3 b2 b7 and now even though the king is corner this is a draw because check then black has queen a2 and this will be a draw so in the beginning king c3 is right king c3 king a3 king c4 king a4 g4 and we found the solution right king d3 was the key move of this position and they say here's the zigzag the king returns to c2 while avoiding the pawn check black should play here king a3 g5 b4 okay this is the same idea and now we play king c2 king a2 g8 and white wins this Hello chess to go welcome Oops Board actor clear board White king h3 pawn on e5 Black king c8 pawn on a7 Yeah, that was easy but also nice maneuver of the king fight to play and draw I'm a bit late today or you can say I'm not late everybody else is too early Yeah, there was this dialogue in some movie i forgot but somebody says princess you are um late and she says no princess is never late everybody else is too early just like that do you give a heads up before the streams so far i have not planned a schedule yet but i have to do it it's just been 15 20 days since i started streaming but I will get more disciplined, I guess. I will try. Okay, so the king is outside the pawn square. And we have to try to be... Uh, try to use the reti idea. Maybe 15 minutes before. Okay. And how do I do it? Red corner. Twitter, etc. 
Okay, I will keep it in mind. I will try to work with that. So, now the king is outside the pawn zone. That is why we have to try to use the ready idea. And if you remember well, ready idea is like using two ideas in one. So, try to go to our pawn and then also go to the other side. I think must be something like this. Let me think first. King g4, a5, king f5, a4. No, not. It's too far. It's too far. It does not reach there. So Ivan suggests that king g4, a5, king f5, a4, e6. a3 in g6 to avoid this square because if we play king f6 black plays a2 and e7 then queens with a check very nice idea and then um e7 next move wow this king g6 is a very nice move what else does black have What if he tries to stop it like with king d8? Now we are in zone, right? We are in zone, king e4. Yes. King e4 and now we are in the zone to stop this pawn. Yes, very well done, Ivan. This must be right. This must be right. White is outside the square of the a pawn. His only hope is a Reti's idea. King g4, a5, king f5, a4, and king g6. Here, double exclamation mark, they say. Yes, king d8 after e6. So if we play e6, black plays king d8. That is why we have to play here. The same idea, but first we have to play king g6, a3, e6, a2, e7, king d7, king f7 with a draw. Okay, one, two more positions for today and then we will stop. King g2, black king e2, white pawn a3, black pawn f5. for following hip side and the learning never ends of course why to play and draw and this they have called it as the second technique so first they called it as zigzag and this they call it as pendulum Thank you for the follow full basket no rapid tournament today no no tournament today so we will finish with this end game stream soon and then tonight uh, i'm planning to make a collaboration with my friend chelsea monica and we will play hands and chess so i think i deserve some fun too after working so hard so we will play with viewers and we will play hand and brain chess Thank you for following my griff. Okay, just a moment.
King G3, King E3, King G2 with repetition. Yes, Alex, you are right. You are absolutely right. Yes, so King G3. Now we are stopping this pawn. And black plays King E3. And we just repeat. So this is a nice name. They say it, it is called as Pendulum Technique. And if black plays F4, we just play F1. And make a draw. And black plays King E2, we play King G3. Thank you for the follow. GM in Benjamin Fan Gold. Okay, so we will do one more position and one tragic comedy and then I will uh, end the stream for today. So two more positions. Fear boat. White king f7. Black king b2. Pawn on a6. And pawn on a7. White to play and win. And this they have called it as shouldering. Thank you for the follow, Julio. And they have said here that quite often one must choose a route for the king that gives a shouldering to the enemy king. That is, it prevents the enemy from arriving in time at an important part of the board. So now we have to know that before we start calculating, that if white takes the pawn and black reaches this square c7, it is a draw. So this is what black will try. So whenever white will take this pawn on b7, black king must reach c7 and then it will be draw because white just plays king a8, black plays king c8 and white king cannot get out from this. And if he pushes the pawn, it will be stalemate. So black's plan is to reach this square somehow. So if we go in a direct way like this, And you see that black draws this position. So that is why we have to stop black from reaching c7. Yes, Jean Louis, this is well known idea to uh, shoulder the king. That is why instead of going this way, we have to go this long way to prevent black king from going to c7. So white starts with king e6, king d5. And now let's say black has to choose either side. And now difference is that black king does not reach c7 which was important square. And then white promotes. Let's see the analysis. White must inevitably win the pawn at a7. Black can save himself only if he can succeed in locking the white king into the corner with king c7. And in fact, this game which is played, it was drawn after white played king e6, king c3 and he played king d6. And that is why in the game, we reached a draw. King e5 of course. And then this was a draw. So the correct answer to this is king e6, king c3 and king d5. Even though this is a long way, this is the right way. White's king approaches the a7 pawn while simultaneously shouldering the enemy king, keeping it from approaching the c7 square. And now last position for today is a tragic comedy.
knight king e4 pawn f3 rook h5 black king g3 hello chess max how are you doing Hello Mantrala, good evening. Not an opposition idea, this is a drawing position avoiding idea. Yes, that is not called opposition, it is called as shouldering the king to stop the enemy king from uh, reaching the c7 square. So this is from the game Rogers versus versus Shiro. I'm slowly getting addicted to Rucha's lessons. Thank you for that. I don't know why so many people are scared about end games. But it is scary to, to do it on your own. Even I find it extremely difficult to just take a book and start studying endgames on my own. So that is why I started doing it here so that we can all discuss together and learn. You have seen this one. Thank you for following, Kane. Yeah, this is from a real game positions between Rogers and Shiro uh, 1990 and they say here that black would have drawn this game if they had played f5 check so the correct continuation that should have been played was f5 king capture f5 if they go king d4 we just play king g2 so if king f5 king f3 rook capture h2 king g3 followed by f3 and this would have been a draw and there is an, another way they say even pawn to f6 would be a draw and just rook h8 white has to wait and then f5 with the same idea in the game, Shiro decided instead to pick up the rook for his h-pawn and he played here king g2 and maybe black thought he will play h1 and then come back to g2 and is attacking the f3-pawn in g2, white played king capture f4 h1 queens, rook h1, king h1 and this looks like draw because now king f5, then king g2, and black uh, chases the f3 pawn. But the surprising move that white played is king g3, double exclamation mark. And now suddenly black is losing. And they say black resigned his king is squeezed into the corner, giving white time to push his f3 pawn forward. So for example, if black plays here king g1 f4 king f1 f5 king e2 king f4 king d3 king e5 king e3 and now f6 with the idea king d6 and king e7 and just a moment, let me check this line again. After king g3, king g1, f4, king f1, f5. And here if white plays king f3, it's a big mistake they say, because f5 will draw.
understand why it will draw because king e3 will be king g2 and if white tries to go to d4 then there is king f3 so white can't try to win this pawn yes king g2 then king d4 and king f3 it, in fact this is lost now if white is too optimistic like that that is why not king f3 but to push the pawn even further and then start moving the king and we win it like this all right so it is time for us to stop here and those who are asking this is dovetsky's endgame book and we have been starting from the very beginning the pawn in games and we will continue with this series our next chapter is breakthrough which we will see maybe tomorrow and today i will uh, be doing more streaming at night with my friend monica so do join in and we will be playing with the viewers so we can have some fun tonight and thank you for joining it's good to have you all here i will make a raid now and stop the stream what time ist uh, i'm thinking after dinner probably 9 30 10 something like that but that would be a fun stream Just a moment, let me read. Let's say hello to somebody. Okay, let's read International Master Leon Vivek. I think he just started the stream so let's go and say hello to him and do follow his channel i just joined and like your in-game studies helps me to study in games too yes very instructive in games so i will see you next time have a good day and probably see you tonight bye Ist äh, vielleicht.